This is the book of Lamentations, chapter 3 and verse 22. And it says it reads, it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. All right. Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai. All right. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak Wadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Ruwa. And I want to give a uh, peace, greetings, and salutations to all the Lagakim that's pushing his word and uh, truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, and the brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in this truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know. And I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe in all meekness and humbleness. You know, I say shalom. You know, uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Miami Camp. And Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakodash, you know, uh Adawan Ratiza, you know that means Lord willing, you know. So Lord willing this lesson is edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel, you know. And my lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakodash, is gonna be basically on how it is it is of the Lord's mercy that, that we are not consumed, man. The nation of Israel. All right, the nation of Israel, all you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, also the Israelite foreigners that scattered amongst the nations that lineage go back to the 12 tribes according to their fathers. All right, we are the true, we are the true Hebrew Israelites, man. The descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right, and what our people been through, you know, throughout, you know, since we became a nation, all right, has, has, um, no nation has gone what we went through. As it says in the book of, um, I believe it's Daniel, the ninth chapter. All right, no nation has been through what we went through, man. All right, the Lord punished us. Actually, let me get that before I get Daniel 9. Amos 3 and 1. It says, Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth, therefore will I punish you for all your iniquity. So the Lord punished us because we sinned against him. All right, the curses of Deuteronomy 28, 15 on down is cleaving onto our people. All right. All right. And the Lord said he's going to judge us according to our wickedness. All right. Because we sinned against us. So these are the judgments. All right. Trans the transatlantic slavery. All right. The, the different captivities. All right. All right. The medial Persian uh, captivity. You know, the Assyrian Assyri Babylonian captivity. The medial Persian all right, the Greeks, the Romans, all right, different empires, you no, know, that had us in captivity. All right, and this last captivity right here, which was the worst of all, which we can be discontinued from our heritage, all right, and we had the lowest, well, prior to us, you know, knowing who we are, all right, waking up to, to the to the truth, you know, that we are the true Hebrew Israelites, we know in the name of the Heavenly Father, which is Yahweh, and his son named Yahweh Shai, all right, we was destitute. All right. Our people, our people, you know, is scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, you know, in different lands of suffering poverty. All right. That's because the Lord punished us. All right. But it's of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed. Our people are supposed to be Esau trying to slaughter our people, man. All right. He tried to slaughter the, the natives. All right. So-called natives. So-called Seminole Indians. The, the whole, the transatlantic slave trade with the southern kingdom, man. Judah, Benjamin, Levi. All right. That's never happened before to no nation, man. But it was of the Lord mercy that we still here and that we still growing, you know, through the spirit of power. Yahweh by Shema Shai and the Lord, he's about to save a remnant of his people because a lot of more Israelites going to die during these times. But it's the Lord's mercy that he's had, that he made a promise with our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So let's get this Daniel chapter nine. Daniel chapter nine. In verse Daniel chapter 9 Verse uh, 8 Daniel chapter 9 This is a whole this, all right. Let me just read it from the top man. Daniel chapter 9 verse 1 In the year of Darius The son of Asurus Asurus Of the seed of the Medes all right, which was made king over the realm of the Chaldees, Chaldeans. In the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, 
understood by books the number of the years whereof the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet that would that saw that he will accomplish 70 years in the desolation of Jerusalem. Verse 3. And I set my face unto the most high, the Lord, unto the Lord Yahweh, to seek by prayer and supplication with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. And I prayed unto the Lord my power and made my confession and said, O Lord, the great and dreadful power, keeping the com uh, covenant and mercy to them that love him and to them that keep his commandments. Verse 5. We have sinned and committed iniquity and have done wickedly. Talking about our people. And have rebelled even by departing from thy precepts and from thy judgments. Because the Lord in the, Baruch, the book of Baruch, I think it's 401. It says, they that keep these laws, you know, shall come to life. But, but such as leave it shall die. All right. And our people are, they were destroyed for lack of knowledge. Scripture said, the men that water out the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead, man. Verse 6. Neither have we hearkened unto thy servants, the prophets, because that's how the Lord speak through the prophets, which spake in thy name to our kings, our princes, and our fathers, and to all the people of the land. O Lord, Yahweh, righteousness belongeth unto thee, but unto us confusion of faces, meaning shame, at, as at this day to the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and, to, and unto all Israel that are near and that are far off. Throughout all the countries, whether thou hast driven them, all right, scattered, all right, the diaspora, because of their trespass, which they have trespassed against thee. Verse 8, O Lord, to us belong with confusion of faces to our kings, to our princes, to our fathers, because we have sinned against thee. Verse 9, to the, to the Lord, our power belongeth, belong mercies in forgiveness, though we have rebelled against us. So it is to our Lord. Our power, Yahweh Shemashah, belong as mercy. So look at his word, mercies. All right. Rakham. Rakham. It says mercy, compassion, I right, tend to love, pity, womb. Let's look at this word, mercy, right here. Let's um, look at the word mercy. Compassion. All right. So what is what is compassion? Pity, sympathy, feeling, fellow feeling, empathy, understanding, care, concern, all right, sensitivity, tender heart, tender hardness, soft hardness, warm hardness, warmth, love, brotherly love, tenderness, gentleness, mercy, mercifulness, leniency, lenience, tolerance, consideration, kindness, humanitarian, uh, humaneness, kindness, charity, but a benevolence. All right. So the Lord, all right, love us, man. All right. Daniel chapter 9, love the nation of Israel. Daniel chapter 9, he had pity on us. All right. Because the Lord knows our frame that we are just worms. All right. <laughs> if the Lord should say, if the Lord, uh, I think the book of Psalms, the Lord said, I think King Solomon, King uh, David said, Lord, thou, uh, Count iniquities who shall stand. Let me see that mark. Psalms 130 and verse 3. If thou, Lord, shouldest mark iniquity, O Lord, who shall stand? All right, because we all sinned and fell short. Romans 3, 
in verse 23 for all have sinned and come short of the glory of the most high we in this sinful flesh so it's of the lord all right the lord punished us but now he's gonna have mercy on us daniel chapter 9 Like you. Then you check the nine and verse nine. To the Lord our power belongs mercies and forgiveness, forgiveness, forgivenesses. Though we have rebelled against him, neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord our power to walk in his laws which he set before us by his servants the prophets yea all Israel has transgressed my law all Israel even departing that they may not obey thy voice therefore the curse is poured upon us in the oath that was written in the law of Moses the servant of the most high because we have sinned against them verse 12 they have and he have confirmed his words, which he spake against us and against our judges and against us by bringing upon us a great evil. Under the whole heaven have not been done as have been done upon Jerusalem. So what has been done to us has never been happened all right, to any other nations. Lord said he going um, to toss us like a ball <laughs> into another country, man. This book of <laughs> Lord is a fearful thing to fall into the hand of living power. This is the book of um Isaiah 22 and verse 17. Behold, the Lord will carry thee away with a mighty captivity and will surely cover thee. Verse 11. He will surely violently turn and toss thee like a ball into a large country. Who's that? Lord tosses like a ball, you know, those fucking, um, those slave shits, man. There thou shalt die, and there the chariots of the glory shall be the shame of the Lord's house. So the Lord said, we gonna, he gonna talk, he gonna toss us like a ball into a, a large country, man, here in Babylon the Great. All right, the worst captivity ever. We get hung, being lynched. Northern Kingdom got their land snatched from them. Murdered uh, smallpox. Our people still getting uh fucking tests run on them, experiments. All right, kidnapped babies getting shot down in the street. You know, getting a hundred years in prison, unrighteous decrees, getting their land uh, taken from them. All right, getting slaughtered. But it's the Lord's mercy. All right, that we are not consumed. And we was with the brothers. You know, last night. You know, this the uh how this um lesson started, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemashai. We was talking about this, you know, how how Jake in the in the other countries, you know, how they catch hell so much and like you know how the Lord, you know, judged us. But if uh is a if you know, I quoted this this precept, you know, uh Lamentations is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed. I right, the bishop lord lawyer, I right, the, the the head of our church, the head of the camp, you know. He said, that's a video. He said, you got to do a video on that. And I was like, all right. You know, and I, so through the spirit and power, Yahweh Shema Shah, I'm doing it now, man. You know, it is of the, it's truly of the Lord's mercy that he woke us up, man. Our people are des destitute, all right? You know, and also meaning that they reject the Lord. And they about to get in the time of like never before, Jacob's trouble. And the Lord's still going to have mercy, all right? Well, he's going to have mercy on the elect, all right, of Israel. But two thirds, they're going to die here in America and they're going to come back in the kingdom. All right. With a new mind, new body. That's mercy, too, man. Because the Lord made the promises with our forefathers. This book of Romans chapter. Bear with me. Romans chapter 11, verse one. I say, then have the most High cast away his people. Yahweh forbid. For I ought I. Ought, so the Lord. So the Lord did. Meaning hell no. For I also am an Israelite. This is Apostle um, um, Apostle Paul. He says, For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. Yahweh have not cast away his people, which he foreknew. Want ye not that the scriptures saith in Isaiah's how he maketh intercession to the Most High against Israel, saying, All right, the Most High didn't cast away his people. All right. 
this is the book of Romans chapter 9 Romans chapter 9 and verse Romans chapter 9 and verse 22. Going into, you know, you read more up. Romans chapter 9 verse 22. What if the Most High, willing to show his wrath and to make his power known, endured with much long suffering to the vessels wrath, the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction? That's the Edomites, man. All right? They're the, they're the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction, meaning tailor made. The Lord tailor made them to be destroyed. Verse 23, and might make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy. Who is that? Israel started with the elect, which he had afore prepared unto glory. Verse 24, even us whom he whom he have called, not of the Jews only, meaning them on the circumcision, but also of the Gentiles, meaning the Israelite foreigners. That's why the scripture said the ones that are near and the ones that are far off. But now we've been made one, you know, through the sacrifice of our Lord Yahweh Shai and the Holy Spirit. We're coming back to the, the Most High through His Son Yahweh Shai. And you got to know about the Gentiles. You got to know about the Greek Hellenistic period. All right. Starting with Alexander the Great, you know, going down to Antioch and Epiphanes. All right. Read that in the pocket of the book of First and Second Maccabees, how we discontinued from our heritage and we was no longer able to call ourselves Jews or what we call ourselves Greeks and we were scattered through all, all these lands taking on those customs so we became as the Gentile we came in a Gentile mindset verse 25 as he as he said also in the OC I will call them my people which are not my people and her beloved which was not beloved I'm talking about Hosea the first chapter and it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them Ye are not my people over here in Babylon. There they be sorry, there shall they be called the children of the living power, meaning Yasharala. He's the prince of the power, he's the prince of the most high. Isaiah is also cried concerning concerning Israel, though the number of the Israel, sorry, though the number of the children of Israel, meaning the sons of Israel, be as the sand of the sea, a remnant shall be saved. That's the elect. That's who the Lord's gonna have mercy on. Alright. For he will finish the work and cut it short in righteousness because a short work will the Lord make upon the earth. Verse uh, 29. And as Isaiah, this is Isaiah first chapter. I was going to bring that out, but it's right here. Said before, except the Lord of Sabaoth, meaning the Lord of Omens, had left us a seed, we have been as Sodom, some Sodom, some Sodoma, and have been like unto Gomorrah. All right. So we would have been destroyed if the Lord haven't had a remnant left. All right. The Lord said he was going to correct us and measure. But he's not going to destroy the whole house. Jeremiah 30. Jeremiah 30. Oh, this is chapter five. Actually, yeah, this is Jeremiah. This is Jacob's trouble. Let's get the Jeremiah 30, verse 7. At last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even a time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. So it's going to be worse than 70 AD, a time like never before. The scripture said, but he said the elect is going to be saved out of it. That's mercy from Yahweh Mashah. Verse 8 For it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off thy neck. And burst thy bonds, and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. So the Lord's going to take away our captivity. All right. All right. He's going to take these enemies, starting with Esau, Edom, right, power structure off us. But they shall serve the Lord their power, and David their king, who I will raise up unto them. All right. Because King David is going to rule on the throne. Verse 10. Therefore fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, said the Lord, neither be dismayed, O Israel. For lo, I will save thee from afar, and thy seed from the land of their captivity, Babylon. And Jacob shall return, and shall be in rest, and be quiet. None shall make him afraid. That's everlasting peace in the kingdom. Verse 11. For I am with thee, said the Lord, to save thee. 
Though I make a full end of all nations, whether I have scattered thee, yet will I ne not make a full end of thee, but I will re correct thee in measure and will not leave thee all together on the punishment. So the Lord said he's going to correct us in measure, but he's going to save that elect out of it, man. All right. All right. Two thirds therein shall be cut off and die. Let's get that Zechariah. Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass in the land, saith the Lord, two parts, talking about here in Babylon the Great, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. So two thirds of the nation of Israel are going to be cut off and die. But the third shall be left therein. The third, the, the elect is going to be delivered. And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say it is my people and the Lord shall say, so in the so, and I will say it is my people and they shall say the Lord is my power. Yahweh Bashim al man. All right, let's get this in uh, Isaiah 55. Isaiah 55 and verse 3. Incline your ear and come unto thee here and your soul shall live. And I will make thee an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David, man. Just how the Lord had mercy on David when he transpassed, when he transgressed the laws, when he sinned. The Lord is going to have mercy on the house of David. All right. Bayath Dawadah. All right. Let's look up some words on mercy. And I want to go back to that lamentation too. First Chronicles 16 and 34. Give thanks unto the Lord for he is good for his mercy endureth forever, man. All right. All right. Uh, Second Chronicles 1 and 8. And Solomon said unto the Most High, Thou hast shown great mercy unto thy unto David, my father, and has me reign, so it has made me to reign in his stead. So the Lord showed mercy on, on, on King David, man. All right. Second Chronicles 6 and 14. And said, Lord, power of Israel, there is no power like thee in heaven nor in earth, which keepeth covenant and showeth mercy unto thy servants who is the Lord's servants the prophets that walk before thee with all their hearts man. 2nd Chronicles 7 and 3 and when all the children of Israel saw how the fire came down and the glory of the Lord upon the house they bowed themselves with their faces to the ground upon the pavement and worshiped and praised the Lord Yahweh saying for he is good for his mercy endured forever, man. All right, and there's a nothing as a, a, a psalm, it just goes the Lord's mercy, it just goes in on the Lord's mercy. Psalms 21 and 7 For the king trusts in the Lord, and through the mercy of the Most High, he shall not be moved. All right, oh. Psalm 18 and 50. Great deliverance gave he to his king and showed mercy to his anointed, to David and to his seed forevermore, man. Psalms 13 and 5. But I have trusted in thy mercy. My heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. All right. Psalms 31 and 7, I will be glad and rejoice in thy mercy, but thou hast considered my trouble. Thou hast known my soul in adversities. All right. Psalms 32 and 10, many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but he that trusts in the Lord, mercy shall compass him. Psalms 33 and 18, behold, the Lord, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear than him. Upon them that hope in his mercy, man. Psalms 33 and verse 22. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we hope in thee. All right. So, the Wadi Yahweh Bashim al So, let's go back to that Lamentations. 
that you just do a, a two part, three part, four part series on the Lord's mercy and all. But I'm gonna just cut it short. Lamentation chapter three and verse um, chapter three and verse um, twenty one. This I recall to my mind. Therefore have I hope. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, because his compassions fail not. They are renewed every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Verse 24, the Lord is my portion, saith my soul. Therefore will I hope in him. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. Verse 22, it is good for a man that he bear his bear the yoke in his youth. And we bear that yoke. The Lord said, my yoke is uh, light. He said, my yoke, my yoke is easy. Mary. Yeah, Matthew 11 and verse 30. Let's hear that. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 11, and verse 25. At that time, Yahweh Shah, who, who the world even called Jesus Christ, answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and hast revealed them unto babes. Just knowing the name of Yahweh Shemashah, that's mercy. You know, knowing the name and knowing his will, and the Lord revealing his mysteries unto us, hey, that's a blessing too. Verse 26. Even so, Father, so for so it seemed good in thy sight all things are delivered unto me deliver unto me of the father and no man nor the son but the father neither nor any man the father save the son and he to whomsoever the son will reveal him verse 28 come unto me all ye that labor and are labor are heavy laden and i will give you rest so yahweh shah all right Send down the Holy Spirit, the comfort of the truth, the understanding of the Bible. All right, we got rest in our mind. We shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. But ultimately, when the Lord comes, He's going to give us physical rest. All right, in the kingdom of heaven. Verse 29 Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. Verse 30 For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. So Yahweh by Shemel Shai make it easy for us. All right. Should we say the, the simplicity as in our Lord Yahweh Shai. Yeah, through much tribulation, we're going to enter the kingdom. But the Lord said he's going to be with us all until the end of the world. The Lord said he's going to always be with us. He will be with us always. And the Lord said he's coming quickly. You know, so is the Lord's mercy. The Lord's going to continue keeping us. All right. During these times, these perilous times. Yahweh by Shemel Shai going to keep Akim. You know that their their family, their house, you know, their biathium, you know, you know, you know, you know, their houses, you know, you know, just just continue to trust in the Lord, man. Look where our people have been through, and we still here, man, praising the Lord. So the Lord, He gonna fulfill our right, His promise that He made to us, to our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The Lord is not a man that He should lie, you know. So we still here by the by the mercy of Yahweh Shemal Shah. The Lord said, if the stars and the moon, you know, those ordinances depart, then we're going to depart from being a being a nation in front of the Lord, man. You know? So hey, Lord winning this lesson was edifying. And those ordinances gonna always be here. So we're gonna always be the Lord's people. All right. And the Lord is gonna have mercy on the elect, on the elect of Israel. We pray we are part of that number. So keep fighting, Akim. Lord winning this lesson was edifying to the elect. Of the nation of Israel, you know, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakorash. I want to give double honor to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which rule well. And I want to give all peace, greetings, and salutations to all the Lekakim that's pushing his word in truth and sincerity. Hey, Shalom, Makim, keep pushing, keep doing Shalom.